Hey everyone, Tesla Tom here. Thanks for joining us today. We are looking at software update 2021.40.6 in our Tesla Model 3 performance here in Sydney, Australia. Let's go through the release notes now. So the first thing is add stop navigation improvements. This is essentially waypoints, something we've been asking from Tesla for a while now. You can now add waypoints to your destination. Let's go through it. Add stop. Add a new stop to your route by tapping the plus icon on the navigation search button and searching for a destination or selecting a pin on the map. So we'll go through that in one second. Cold weather improvements. You can now enable front defrost and maintain your climate settings when clearing snow and ice. As usual, tap the fan icon and select keep climate on when parked. Additionally, when using climate controls on the Tesla app, automatic battery peak conditioning has been optimized to consume less energy. Tidal media improvements. Tidal streaming is now available from the media menu with a Tidal account. You can now listen to Tidal playlists or albums in the high quality audio by connecting to Wi-Fi and pressing download on the selected content. So Tidal is now available here. There we are, Tidal. I don't actually have a Tidal account, but uh, I'll certainly do a review later on to test Tidal. And the next one is Traffic Aware Cruise Control Chime Autopilot Improvements. You will now receive an audio alert when Traffic Aware Cruise Control is enabled. To disable, tap Controls, Autopilot, Traffic Aware Cruise Control Chime. So we'll also go for a test drive and find out what it sounds like as well. And finally, new language support. You can now select British English as your language. To update your language setting, tap Controls, Display, and select the desired option from the Language drop-down menu. Note, your vehicle must be in park to change languages. Okay, so let's check that out. So let's press Settings, Display, and English is default currently in our car, but if you scroll up, British English is now an option. Changing the language will require a system restart, no problem. Okay, so the car is now restarted. We've got it on British English. And you'll see now the word recognize is now with an S. So R-E-C-O-G-N-I-S-E. -E, and that's how recognize is spelled in British English as opposed to, I guess, uh, American English. And I'll also show you on autopilot settings. If I scroll down here, there's a new option for traffic aware cruise control chime and you can actually turn that on or off but we'll leave it on for now and uh, you guys can see how it sounds like when we try cruise control okay so we're on the road now and we're now going to test the cruise control chime so to activate cruise control right stalk once all right and that's all it is and that's just uh, traffic aware cruise control not autopilot you heard that once that bing the chime and to deactivate it, you just flick it up like this. That's the noise when it disengages. And that is Chime on Traffic Aware Cruise Control. Okay, so the last thing I want to test is waypoints. Let's try to navigate to our nearest Tesla supercharger. Press down here, which is Macquarie. So when you navigate to a Tesla supercharger, it starts to precondition the battery so you can charge your car faster. Let's say, for example, I want to add a waypoint. See that little plus button there? So we press that. And let's say I want to stop at, say, uh, it's a nice shopping village, just on the way to Macquarie. See that? So it guides you up here and then back down again. And you can uh, have a look at the trip here and uh, see where you need to go. Once you get the Sunives, and then it goes to Macquarie after that. Let's just say I want to add another waypoint between St. Ives and Macquarie. You can add another waypoint up here with a plus button. Let's just say I want to go to Gordon. Let's go there. Right, so what happens is that it adds the waypoint uh, before St. Ives rather than afterward. So keep that in mind if you're adding multiple waypoints, that it'll add what you've just recently added uh, before everything else. You can also add the waypoint this way by tapping on the screen like that. And you can just add like that to your destinations list. And again, it adds it before your previous waypoint. All right, so we are just about to hit our first destination, which is a Sunai shopping village. 
As I scroll across here, you see that where we're going is blue, and then it becomes black after that. So I assume once we get to our destination, we'll flick over to this part and that will go blue. Okay, let's swing a left here. Now turn left onto Gallup Road. And you'll note too that um, we lose that uh, battery preconditioning on the way to the first destination. Let's see whether it flicks back to battery preconditioning uh, after this waypoint because the next destination is the Macquarie Tesla supercharger. Okay, let's turn left here. And turn right here into the shopping village. Let's see what happens. to the waypoint. Now your destination is on the right. Yes, that's correct. It is on the right. Let's try to exactly the waypoint. See what happens. Okay, see that? It's turned blue. And we have the option to continue trip. So let's do that. Continue trip. See there, it is now calculating to get to the Macquarie Tesla supercharger, and there we are, preconditioning battery for fast charging. Right, that's good to know, good test. And speaking of supercharging, there are now supercharging tips available on the charging screen. Just press where it says supercharging tips. Let's go through it. Supercharging tips. So if you follow these rules, you should be able to get the fastest charge available to your car. So point number one, find the fastest supercharger, filter by three bolts in navigation, navigate to the supercharger, battery will precondition for faster charging, and this is important, it does speed up your charging rate, arrive with 20% battery or less to maximize charge rate, leave space between cars, neighboring stalls may share power, that's also important, move your car after charging, idle fees may apply, particularly after 50% of the spots are taken up and then a higher rate also applies when all the spots are taken up as well. So make sure you move your car after you finish charging to avoid idle fees. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video for Software Update 2021.40.6 with some new features including the Tesla Nav with waypoints now. If you've seen anything else in this update that I missed, please leave a comment below. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, happy charging!